Hello and welcome once again to Woke Watch. Today we'll be looking at how a chain of British department stores called Marks and Spencers or M&S for short have jumped on the Woke bandwagon. And for the benefit of anyone outside the UK, in 2021 Marks and Spencers are as up to date and relevant as the penny farthing, the steam locomotive or Charles Babbage's wonderful difference engine. The average M&S customer has already signed the paperwork stating do not resuscitate. So, in order to be with it, see, I can relate to the youth, M&S has brought in a policy change that allows its employees, should they wish to, to display their preferred pronouns on their name tags. So, she, her, hers, he, him, his, they, them, I'd say there, but it might be thems by now. And I have to say, I'm not against it. I'll occasionally go into Marks and Spencers if I want to feel young and athletic, because most of the time it's like being in God's waiting room. But for any employee who goes along with the policy, well, first of all, it's great for trans and non-binary employees. And also, if I see someone proudly displaying their pronouns on their name tag, I'll know to avoid them like the fucking plague. Like I said, I'm not against this. I mean, it's great for people who are genuinely trans with gender dysphoria who may be transitioning. And if I worked at Marks and Spencers and you, dear viewer, came up to me and saw on my name badge I had the pronouns either she, her or they, them, then you'd have the benefit of knowing that I'm mentally ill. But what I don't understand about the overly woke pronoun police is if I were wearing a name badge and I'll take Dan, Danny, Daniel, dickhead, fuckface, whatever. Why would anyone need to address me as he, him? Surely if someone's name is on display, that's the way normal people will refer to them. But usually, when addressing someone by their pronouns, that person isn't present. So if the screamy woke people are worried that when they are not there, someone may be using the wrong he, her, they, them, it must be fucking wonderful to live in a world with so few problems. Nevertheless, isn't it wonderful that a large company like Marks & Spencers is doing its bit to show it supports trans and non-binary employees? Now call me a cynic, could it be they're just doing it to score some points? Like all large corporations, they'll do anything to appear less fucking heartless. It's just virtue signalling. It's a way to make the company appear more human. So that woke people who go on Twitter and think that anyone gives a fuck about their opinion will spend more money there. The money is all that's important. For example, take Pride Month. On the 1st of June, every large supermarket and department store will have rainbow flags fucking everywhere. But one second past the stroke of midnight on the 1st of July and the LGBTQIA community ceases to exist. Apart from in advertising, where these large companies can never stop pushing how fucking diverse they are. Forcing it down our throats like a vicar's cock in an altar boy's mouth. And let's not forget that during June, Marks and Spencers changed the name of its BLT sandwiches to the LGBT sandwiches. What about the Q's, the I's and the A's? Fucking bigots. And although it looks like an act of solidarity, it isn't. It's a money-making exercise. Otherwise, they do it all year. Now, it's rare that I go shopping in Marks and Spencers because, as everyone in Britain knows, it's sodding expensive. What I like to do is take a Marks and Spencers carrier bag and then go shopping in Tesco so I can lord it over everyone. So the pronouns on the name badges is pretty much the same thing. It's a way of targeting woke people to get them to spend more money in store. And I think they're looking for a key demographic, and that's middle class white people. Because if you're looking for the wokest bastards in society, that's where you'll find them. And we've all met these people. They're usually plagued with guilt because they're straight and white. Say, if there's a couple and they've got three sons, they will want one son to be straight but only date women of colour. They'll want the second son to be gay and the third one to change his name to Veronica and chop his dick off just to show how fucking progressive they are. Woke people will lap this shit up. They won't be able to wait to get home to invite a friend round for a fair trade, organic, lactose-free fuckachino just so they can say they went shopping and the cashier was called Steve but preferred the pronouns she and her. Every time a large company does something to make them appear more woke, 
woke people will fall for it. Because, much like the end of this video, they're not very fucking bright. As ever, thanks for watching. What you could see of me.